Mike, Mike, made, Mike and I were at the Harvard Business School doing a presentation on just integrity for three hours, and Mike made this statement, and his, his colleagues in the room got outraged. He wanted to know where was there his evidence. And Mike said the evidence is anecdotal and the little bit of blah, 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 blah. Uh, and Mike went on, and at the end of the talk, Mike was standing here, and there was a man all the way in the back who put his hand up and he stood up and he said, I'm Paul Fireman. Paul Fireman, who's the, for those of you who don't recognize, you're not old enough, uh, was the CEO of Reebok, uh, the, most, the most highly compensated CEO in the world for years. Why? Because he was outrageously successful. Paul puts his hands up and said, by the way, Paul has a certain, engenders a certain respect amongst Mike's colleagues at the Harvard Business School. And Paul said, Mike lowballed you because he had actually built that organization on integrity. From the early model that Werner and Steve Zafron had, and so he had spent years with it and knew the impact that it had. Uh, so no kidding. To tell that story, because I know this is hard to believe, this to a Yeah, you don't believe 100%. it, but it's true. And it is a lowball estimate. Uh, <clears throat> so what is integrity for a person? It's a matter of, integrity for a person is a matter of that person's word, nothing more and nothing less. Uh, sorry, Mike, just have, yeah. so integrity for an object is not a matter of the object's word, huh? But integrity for you or me is a matter of our word. Nothing more and nothing less. The kind of integrity we're talking about. The whole complete, unbroken, sound, perfect condition. Okay. In a little while, we're going to tell you that who you are as a person basically is your word. That's a lot easier to make your words unimpaired. For a person to have integrity, the word of that person yeah, must well, be whole, complete, Unbroken, un that it reaches back to yourself. Okay, Mike. Yeah. The question in the matter of integrity is what constitutes your word? This is where the ball game is. What is your word? And if you follow this carefully and begin to implement it in life, it won't all come at once, amazing things will happen. You know, divorces will stop happening, <laughs> like in my life. <coughs> anyway. Uh, your word defined. First of all, will happen when they weren't happening and should have happened. By the way, excuse me. Yes. Okay, but I'm not going down that track. <laughs> you can imagine what uh, what happens over a glass of wine with him. What you said, whatever you said. <laughs> so the first is there are going to be six definitions of your word, six different elements of your word. The first one is what you said. Very simple. Whatever you said you will do or will not do, in the case of do, doing it on time. That's pretty simple. What you know. Whatever you know to do or know not to do, and if it's due, doing it as you know it was meant to be done and doing it on time, unless you have explicitly said you will not do so. What is expected of you? These are uh, literally unexpressed requests. Now, anybody that's married or in a relationship with anybody, you just think a little about that relationship while we're going through here. Whatever you are expected to do or not do by anyone with whom you desire to have a workable relationship, and in the case of do, doing it on time, unless you have explicitly said to the contrary. Okay, I don't know. It, there must be somebody in this room that's married. Well, maybe there are many of you. Just think about what happens when your spouse expects you to do something. This is an unexpressed request. She or he has not actually asked you to do it. They secretly want you to do it. Now what happens when you don't do it? It hits the fan. <laughs> and that relationship has some rough times. I know, I've done it over and over and over again. <laughs> So, but if you were to take that on, you would really be looking to find what are the unexpressed requests. Most of us, uh, speaking for myself, don't do it naturally. Now, 
what happens is, way to handle this, I'll, I'll jump ahead a little bit, if I, in relationships with people that, and organizations that I want to have work, I have to pay attention to what those unexpressed requests are, those expectations that they never told me about. I have to manage those. I have to find out what they are. And by the way, I don't have to do them. As long as I, what's your name? Melissa. So Melissa may expect me to do something, and I may come to Melissa, she and I have a relationship of some form, maybe we're workmates, and she expects me to do something, and I say, I have this kind of sense that you expect me to do something in this domain. And she may say, well, yes, and I say, well, what is it? And she then explains, and I said, well, and I can say, well, uh, you know what, Melissa, I'm never going to do that. I know that would get you. I know that would get you. Okay. <laughs> I guess my question is, if you, is part of your word is having unexpected requests, does that mean if I choose to not like, abide by all these other like, expressed requests that maybe I still have high integrity? Like how, how does that play into it? Because like how can I still have high integrity if I never, like I just expect you to do the dishes? Well, so first of all, <laughs> you, you switched positions on me. So we're talking about my integrity to make it clear. Or let's talk about your integrity. So are you in relationship with somebody? Maybe, maybe not. You don't have to say, okay. <laughs> it's a secret. <laughs> okay. Well, let's assume there's a relationship. Relationship with somebody, including the boss, for God's sake. And if you don't think your boss has got unexpressed expectations of you, you're foolish. Okay. And now, if you want to have that relationship work, you've got to be responsible for those unexpressed requests that we, we're going to call expectations of you. And by that, you do have to do the reverse, too. In other words, my expectations of you... I haven't done that, but let's, let's wait up on that. Okay. I was just going to say you're going to need to do that. I will, I will. So you don't have to do it. But if you want that relationship to work, you got to figure out, and the best way to do is just ask, what those expectations are. And if you're not going to do it, tell them they're not, you're not going to do that. You may say, oh, but I'll do something else. I'll do this. Will that work for you? And almost always you can work something out that will be work for both sides. And uh, now... But it's the unconscious unexpected. Mike, you have a question for requests. Yeah that really caused the problem. Absolutely. You know, and you've got to figure out what they are. You're talking about your wife, I'm guessing, and it sort of fits my relationship oh, with Sue. i talking about my wife, I'm talking about my boss. I'm oh, yes. About everybody. Yep. They all, uh, a lot of I got a question over here. Yep. Did you get, did you, you got it handled? What you said was just exactly right. Yeah. Yeah. Question over here. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. All right. So my question actually goes back to your earlier slide, and that was related more to the institutional integrity. And if given a particular function, say, well, a set of functions, say, for example, a, a function was performing exactly the way it was expected to, and then that expectation actually created a calamity or a catastrophe, then is that still operating in integrity? Or is it that the, that the function itself is flawed? You mean what they were supposed to do? Exactly. Yeah, it may be wrong. Well, and Mike, it could be that the, 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 something in the function itself is out of integrity. Right. Which is a different issue. So then, so then what you're suggesting then is that there's a, an element of morality that's also included. No, 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 okay. no, no. Well, then what is it? Then? No, it's very what, good what the question, it, though. That's is, right. What because is what is the distinguishing factor then between something that you consider to be right or something that operates within the function that it's affected? Well, when we're, when we're dealing with expectations, it's purely a matter of whether I want to meet it. Let's talk about it between you and I. And if I don't want to meet it, it's not my word as long as I tell you I'm not going to do that. Now, I might say I'll do this or that instead, but that's not required. The only thing is, and I guarantee you, even if you go around telling people you're never going to do their expectations, you're never going to satisfy them, that's going to work better than if you ignored all those expectations and they were surprised by the fact that you didn't do it. 
I know that sounds a little funny, but... Mike, you think about it in the terms of employees. If you have an employee and you let that employee have an expectation that you are not going to meet, at some point that's going to uh, blow up to whatever size the expectation was. The employee is much better off if you've been straight with them up front. Straight meaning you ferreted out the expectation and simply said, no, that's not going to get met. Here's what you do get, but you don't get that. Does that make sense to you? Uh, it does. I think, well, I was just thinking, for example, I mean, look at the financial crisis, obviously. You know, the, oh, yeah. the institution of all of the derivatives and the relaxing of, of regulatory right. issues. I think all of those things, they actually performed exactly, exactly the way they were intended to. And they created, obviously, a situation that became unknown. Right. Yeah, if we go down, if we go down that path, we're never going to get to the cocktails. <laughs> I mean, it's disgusting what's but, been going on in but finance. It, but it did, it did function within the integrity yeah. of what it was intended. Well, well no, well, it was well. dramatically out of integrity. It, that's a that's a long discussion. We we don't have time to do it. Yeah. The design was out of integrity. Okay, I, I will okay. Agree with you. Yeah, well. <clears throat> 